the Lincolnshire National is next in. This is a three mile five furlong class three handicap. And it's 0 to 120. And the top one is Lord Butt for Jim Murray. Robin Knights for Darren Thompson. Ply Lukey Martin lead them. Ogerman Prejudice James Shane. Motifari Danai for Alex Cherry. Catching over Hassel Thomas Rogers. No More Heaven Paul Rhodes. Savignon Stevens for Ryan Costello. Mary Cassatt Paul Rhodes. Opus Safari for Ryan Costello. A winner of the last two times at. And plainly dangerous for Martin Leadham is the bottom one. Just 11 then in this. And they all stand impatiently ready to go. And off they go with No More Heaven. A little bit detached from the others when they start. Lost two or three lengths at the start. Let's hope that doesn't cause that one too many problems. They were all safely over the first. They've got 23 to take in all, and this is the second of them. And uh, they're all still standing after two. And they pass the stand with goodness knows how many circuits to go. Probably three more circuits, maybe two. Not quite sure about this track, to be honest. They come down to the water, which they're all safely over. There's the winning post. I'm sure they won't jump the water on the final circuit. Although I've been caught out at that before at other places. But I think it's going to be Ogerman Prejudice that takes them off on their first complete circuit in the lead and I would guess it's going to be three trips round Ogo and Pre Prejudice then in the lead the rest of them virtually in a line fan right out across the track look with catching over Hassel the one that's giving up quite a lot of ground about eight horses wide on the track they'll sort themselves out over the next furlong or two I think and one or two of those at the back will cut in and the leader Ogo and Prejudice and straight through the top of that one and the jockey did well to stay on board. So racing towards the next and then we get them from an aerial view over this ditch, which they're all safely to the other side of and over that little road. And Ogum and Prejudice leads. Opus Safari looking for a three-timer is in second. And then Montefiore and Danai Wad on the track. Plainly dangerous is next. The two Paul Rhodes horses are together. Mary Cassatt and No More Heaven. Robin Knights is next as they take this ditch and the leader jumped it slowly again catching over Hassel was over it last and Plein Lukey was a little bit untidy at the back as well so Ogum and Prejudice then lead down to two lengths from Opus Safari in second and Plainly Dangerous and Mary Cassatt together third and fourth the Robin Knights trying to come up on the inside Lord Butt is now the one that's widest on the track and the two of them have got themselves into a more favourable racing position. Plein Lukey still rolling his head about trying to decide whether to go wide or try and cut in. Whichever one it does, the jockey could do with making his mind up and sticking to it. This is a long way to go yet. Yeah, you need to be doing all that rolling around at this point. Just find yourself a position and stay there, right, really. So it's Ogerman Prejudice in front by about three to Opus Safari in second, Mary Cassatt third and Robin Knight's fourth. And Motifari and Danai as they take the seventh. Which they're all safely over. Catching over Hassel has made some good ground up on the inside now. Was wide on the track earlier. Switched position and got himself into a good berth on the rail. As they come down to this next one, which is in front of the stand. And over that one they go, and indeed it will be another two more times around. They'll take the water this time. And the next time as well. You can see them over that one then from the stand. It looks like a prison cell, doesn't it, at the moment? A weird way of doing it, but anyway, it's Ogerman Prejudice in the lead from Opus Safari second. Mary Cassatt is just about third, then Motifari Danai and Robin Knights. Plein Lukey has moved up on the outside to take much closer order, and no more Heaven and Lord Butt have dropped towards the back. But there's still well over two miles to go, so nothing to be concerned about yet. Everybody's in a reasonably decent position. Nothing's too far away. Nothing's making too many mistakes and they're not letting this Ogerman prejudice get too far in front. Leads by about five or six popping over that plain one. Uh, they're all safely over that one as well with plainly dangerous now dropping towards the back. Uh, Ogerman prejudice is the leader over this ditch. Oops, they're all safely over. And Ogerman prejudice has led all the way. Motifari and Dunai has now moved through in a second. Mary Cassatt's been fairly prominent throughout in third. Plain Lukey now in the closest place. That one's been in fourth on the outside. Almost closest to us, just actually a little bit closer to us, the black and the red of Lord Butt as they get over that next one, plainly dangerous and no more heaven. The back two were a little bit untidy, but it's Ogerman Prejudice who still leads. About three lengths to Motifari and Danai second, Plain Lukey a clear third now. Robin Knights is fourth and Opus Safari on the inside is fifth. And catching over Hassel and Mary Cassatt together with Lord Butt and then the back three. Oh, Savigny on seasons, no more heaven, and plainly dangerous is now the back marker. 
is no more than a dozen lengths first to last and Ogerman Prejudice is the one that's still the leader by about four lengths to Motafari Danai in second. Opa Safari's now moved through into third on the inside in Mary Cassatt. Robin Knight is still going well. Klein Lukey is still there as well. Then Lord Butt catching over Hassel. Just tucked in mid division in the back three. Seven Indian seasons plainly dangerous and no more heaven are far from out of it as they get over number 14, which they're all over safely. Civilian season jumped it quite nicely at the back as they get over number 15. And another good jump by civilian season. I don't think that one's finished a race yet this season. So it's doing quite well so far. And as they pop over that one, I think that will probably be the last on the next circuit. And it's Ogerman Prejudice. It comes to the water. This will be the last time they take the water. Hopefully, and uh, they're all safely over it with Ogerman prejudice in the lead. Opa Safari second. Look at this catching over Hassel. Cruising through on the outside in third. Mary Cassatt trying to cover the move in fourth. Then Lord Button playing Lukey. Motafari and Danai. Robin Knights plainly dangerous trying to get into it. No more heaven is next. And suddenly, Civilian Seasons from jumping well is suddenly starting to struggle and is now beginning to tail off. But it's Ogerman prejudice still in the lead. They're queuing up behind though. But as they take this turn, Ogerman prejudice should come out of the turn with a clear lead. Mary Cassatt though is trying to close, catching over Hassel, Opa Safari, Plyne Lukey, Robin Knights, Lord Butt, they're all in this, they've got plenty of chances as they pop over the 18th and it's now Mary Cassatt who's just gone on, Mary Cassatt by about half a length to Ogerman Prejudice in second catching over Hassel, over that ditch they go and there's a faller there, something's gone, Motafari Danai was the faller at the back and it's Mary Cassatt in the lead from Ogerman Prejudice, then catching over Hassel, Lord Butt is next, then comes Opa Safari, Robin Knight, suddenly Plyne Lukey's corner a bit of pressure, Plyne Dangerous is trying to run on. They've got five furlongs to go. That was the 20th fence. They've got three more to take. And Ogerman Prejudice has got back into the lead. Ogerman Prejudice catching over Hassel. Savinian Seasons has been pulled up. It's Ogerman Prejudice in front still. Catching over Hassel. Opus Safari. Lord Bot. Mary Kazak. Plenty of chances. Still got three to jump. They come round now towards the final three fences in this race. And it's Ogerman Prejudice in the lead by two and a half lengths. Lord Bot's moved into second. Then comes catching over Hassel and Opus Safari. Robin Knight. Mary Cassatt, wide on the track, plainly dangerous. Plyne Lukey and No More Heaven are going to have to give away a bit of ground if they're going to play a part in the finish. But it's Ogerman Prejudice who's been in the lead pretty much all the way. Briefly headed only a few furlongs ago, but back in the lead now. By two lengths, but they're still queuing up behind, racing down towards his third last. It's Ogerman Prejudice in the lead. Ogerman Prejudice then is in the lead, being chased by Opus Safari and Robin Knights. Over it they go, and it's Ogerman Prejudice in front. Opus Safari looking for the three timer. Robin Knights catching over Hassel. Over the second last they go and now catching over Hassel bursts into the lead it's catching over Hassel for Opus Safari catching over Hassel Opus Safari over the final fence they go now they're going to go up the shoot and it's catching over Hassel and Opus Safari Opus Safari's beginning to get his head in front catching over Hassel is fighting back he, is he going to get the three timer it's going to be a head bobber it's Opus Safari takes it and Opus Safari wins three on the drop for Ryan Costello Robin Knight's finished well as well and a really exciting finish to that one. Three miles, five furlongs, and the minimum distance between them at the end, really. There's a steward's inquiry as well. This could be interesting. And they definitely got close. Let's take a look. Has he kept it for the three timer? Indeed, he has Opus Safari for Ryan Costello is the winner. Catching over Hassel for Thomas Rogers was second. Robin Knights for Darren Thompson third. Ogerman Prejudice James Day fourth. And Plyne Lukey was fifth.